everybody, I'm playing Hoshi no Kirby for Game Boy. Uh, the English version of this would be Kirby's Dream Land. I've got it set to a cool Legend of Zelda color palette. Yeah, this is the default one. I like it. It's super pink, but anybody can do that. All right, let's get started. Uh, first things first, I don't have the copy ability in this game, so if anybody's wondering, I can only inhale people and spit them back at other people. Also, I can fly and shoot little air bullets. Watch this. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, free soda pop. These mushroom games, I'm ashamed to say, I don't remember uh, their names, but I used to doodle them over all my school notebooks when I was a little kid in grade school. They're fun to draw. I know that guy's Bronto Bert, the little flying guy. And the little elf guy is Poppy Brother Jr. or Sr., depending on who you see. This is Poppy Brother Sr., and he's going to throw a big bomb at me. I got to eat it and spit it back. I always really liked their hats. It's nothing special, I mean, it's just a Santa hat, but it looks good on them. I haven't... Let's see, I haven't. If another mushroom guy comes up, I'll do it. Panda bear! Ah! Stay away from me! You know, you can't, uh, you can't... Alright, I guess I, I thought I could inhale this hat off and I'm just not paying attention. Uh, you can't eat the apples and get health back. I always thought that was weird. Alright, come on, do it. Do it! Maybe they don't do it. Ah, there he is! Look at him! He's a little ghost! I don't want to hurt the panda bear. Alright, come here. I'm gonna eat you. Because I'm gonna hurt this panda bear. I guess I can get around this one. I don't think there's secrets out here. I think those are just for, like, tutorial blocks. They always kind of baffled me as to why there, there's openings on the side here to, like, get out and explore. But there's really, like, nothing to find. Or nothing that I know of, at least. Oh no, I got hit. I'm gonna try to get through this game without dying. Hopefully, if I do, only, like, once or twice. My only real challenge is, like, with Cracko and sometimes Lolo. Lolo can be tricky, especially when you have to deal with two of them at once. Krakow's like nothing extraordinary, just like my whole life Krakow's always been that one boss that gave me trouble. I remember being a, little, a wee little baby and being unable to defeat him uh, for years in Kirby's Adventure. No joke. And when I finally beat him it felt so good. He won't be coming up too much later in the game though. Alright, here's Castle Lolo. Lo. It's a really cool level, just frustrating boss fight. The little witch sweeping it up, just keeping everything maintained. Oh, look at her, she went home for the day. Yay, a microphone! <laughs> it's cool. Uh, Ghost Man? Bomb! See that duck under that bat? Alright, now this is like the Super Mario room. There's the question marks, there's the, there's the scary masks. I love the mummy volleyballs. I can't remember what they're called in this game. They've always been the mummy volleyballs to me. I like how like they breathe as they fly around. Alright, here's the first incarnation of Lolo. Not too hard, because he just comes at you like head on. In fact, not hard at all. Incredibly easy the first time around. Cool. I'm gonna go through this door. I don't really think I had a choice. That was just the one I was at when the screen cut out. Uh, down here. There are doors in this one, and I don't really know if they matter, because I don't remember if I go in the same ones every time, but I always, I never, like, get lost and search around. And they might just all take you to the same place. But I know I, I definitely don't memorize the pattern every time. I think you do have to go through this top one, but, like, that's the only one I remember for sure. Here we go. Oh, fuck. I'm ready. Okay, cool. It's kind of tricky. You gotta wait until they pass you and try to get behind them and shoot them before they get through the door. You can kill the first one in three hits and then... Okay, I guess. Or maybe they just switched up. There we go. And that makes the fight a lot easier. You can also, like, kind of bait them and drop between the floor. I'm gonna get hit here. Oh, hey, I got him! Nice! Yeah, I get to do my little dance again. This is a cute little animation. 
<laughs> Dumbass. Yay, I don't have a dash. I wish I had a dash in this game. That makes it a little bit easier to traverse around. I gotta try not to get hit with Falling Peanut. That water with the stars, and it always reminded me of the chicken noodle soup with the stars. There's like points in the game where you can swim around and it's not risky for me to die and like it's super fun to walk around in. Oh, let me see, do I do I fall to my death in here? I can float in it. Oh no, squid! Ah! Scary squid! I love the little microphones. In the later games, it's fun when like they really get kooky with it and make you do like different kinds of music. I think it's a Kirby Superstar. The little Easter Island heads. They always weirded me out. I was like, what, what are they supposed to be? Why are they in a Kirby game? They're just cool. <laughs> I stole those guys' Sody Pop and their friend tried to come get me. Now, who threw that peanut? That's my question. Unless it was like sprouting right there, but why was a peanut sprouting there? There's a little door right here. Where I can swim around in the chicken noodle soup! Like how Kirby doesn't really have like a swimming animation, he just kind of like walks through the water slowly. Alright, not get pinched by this guy, that would be nice. Ah, oh, damn it! I, I knew I saw him, but like it took a second, I'm like, oh, is he part of the background? That's not a door, is it? Is this a secret door? No. There will be secret doors, I don't... I'm not sure if I've ever found any in this game, but definitely like in Kirby's Adventure and Dreamland 3. Which, I'm gonna play with Cam on the show, because he'd really like that one. It's got Samus and Pocky and Rocky in it, and Cam likes Pocky and Rocky. Alright, now I get, I get fireball powers. This one's on my feet. There's one later that lets you like fly and uh, shoot fireballs infinitely. In fact, I'm gonna need it to beat the boss. <gasps> Yay! Look at that free sody pop in that one up. I'm not sure what the power up is actually supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be curry, which is why it makes you breathe fire, but I, I've always called it turkey dinner, because that's what it looks like. I don't know why turkey would make you breathe fire, but, you know. Yay, we're blasting off again! I'm leaving a trail of chicken noodle soup behind me, and I'm gonna go plug up a whale! <laughs> he goes and plugs up a whale. What a jerk. Alright, now I'm in the clouds. Ooh, if I would've got hit, that would've sucked, because here comes the boss fight! I don't know what was up with Game Boy games and doing this, uh, but, like, when you got, like, Mario Land and you got this with, like, the, 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 the side-scrolling shoot em up levels out of nowhere. I think that's neat. It breaks up the gameplay nicely, and, um, it's just fun. Super challenging though, like the last boss in, uh, in Mario Land is fucking meh. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I, it's really stressful. Not the hardest thing in the world, because I always beat the last boss whenever I, I, I face him, but all the bullets on screen at once, it's like, ah! It's kind of how I feel about the pirate ship right there, that I just fought all the cannonballs. Oh, bubbly cloud, look at all the Kirby's. Alright, this is Krakka's stage. Oh, look at the lone waddle do. I like the Waddle Doos. They might be my favorite Kirby enemy next to Sir Kibble. Sir Kibble's cool. He's the little mohawked guy in the suit of armor that throws the uh, the boomerang blades. Oh fuck, okay. Best to- Well, there goes my flawless- Oh, that sucked. Okay, <laughs> best to avoid the floating angry happy face, guys. Um, if you do, if you don't do anything, they'll just stay there. But like, if you try to inhale them, they'll turn into monsters, and if you fuck with them, they'll explode. They're just like purely obstacle. Oh fuck! I knew I wasn't getting around that. Oh, fuck, these guys are weird too. Oh, coming out of the little umbrella brigade. All right, that's deadly. It was cute before. Sir Kimball! Aw, oh, eat it him. Oh, this is brother. And his cousin. And then the lone waddle do. Oh no, he had a friend! Okay, I gotta eat him so him and his friend can be together. Oh, and Sir Kimball's nephew. Lil' Kib. 
<laughs> That's Sir Gilbo's nephew's name. Okay, cool. He's only gonna throw that way. Damn it, I thought that was gonna be the Krakow door. Or at least, like, his first form. Fuck, these Oni masks are gonna give me a run for my money. There we go. That wasn't too bad. That guy always looks like Dizzy the Egg to me. <gasps> More chicken noodle soup! Um, let's see what's this way. There's a spike guy protecting it, so it must be valuable. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna be at low health for Cracko. He's gonna whoop on me. Oh, yeah, he is! He's gonna whoop on me! Look how beautiful his eye is. I fucking love Cracko's eye. Alright, you just gotta camp in the corner, wait for him to spit his guy. Sometimes he'll, like, rush you a little prematurely, and, uh, that, that's really hard to avoid. His first form's not bad. And I'm just grateful his second form doesn't shoot the cannonballs, because then he'd be impossible. I'm going to Chicken Soup Planet. Alright, I gotta get a whole bunch of health here. Uh, yeah. What's up here? Ah, nothing. Aha, he almost got me. I had to let to be at full health for Cracko and not hit these spikes that take away like three health per hit. Alright. That was supposed to trick me. Alright, and there's a really cheap fall death here. I think there's two of them. It gets you like running along and if you're not careful you'll fall right down there. And then even if you even if you avoid that one, they try to get you with the second one. Sneaky. Ah, Sir Kib. Ah, Mac tonight. Ah, umbrellas and Bronto Bert. All right, at least I'm probably only gonna get hit once. Oh God, those umbrellas almost got me. All right, cool. I think I can take Cracko with this much health. I should be able to. All right. Hey, wait, wait, I don't talk for a minute. I'm concentrating super hard. Super stellar background, too, especially that checkerboard in the middle. I think I was playing this with Cam recently, and he pointed that out. Okay, this, is, this isn't nearly as bad now that, now that I've got his pattern down. Okay, this isn't this isn't bad at all. I'm gonna have to fight him again in a minute anyway, because you, you gotta go to a boss rush for the last level. And uh, absolutely nothing different about him. See, now he's just waiting it out. He knows I got him. For me. Oh, he ducked it! But I ducked his attack. That was cool. It was like a Dragon Ball Z moment. We both used like instant transmission and dodged each other. And now he's gonna now he's gonna lame it out. Alright. Woo! Doing my Kirby dance, bouncing around, doing my Kirby dance with my friends, my Kirby dance, sliding around and doing my Kirby dance. Yeah!